Uh, the second video of the DNA problem is called uh, Information in DNA. And the first video would be if you wanted to watch them in order that maybe we made them. This has some logical sense to it. The first one would be what um, DNA changed. And at the end of that video, we had said uh, DNA builds. And, and let me put that on the screen. I'm sorry. DNA builds the organism. So um, going on from that. We want to talk about that. And what should we call what DNA contains? Data, uh, information, design, blueprint. Let's call it information. None other than Richard Dawkins has this to say about the information in DNA. DNA carries information in a very, and this is a quote from Richard Dawkins, DNA carries information in a very computer-like way, and we can measure the genome's capacity in bits too, if we wish. DNA doesn't use a binary code, but a quaternary one. Whereas the unit of information in the computer is a one or a zero, the unit in DNA can be T, A, C, or G. And that's the end of the quote by Richard Dawkins. Uh, that quote is taken from a link online. Uh, you could hopefully pause your video and look at that. But basically, skeptics.com, and it looks like Australia with the links that are there. What kind of information, then, is stored in the DNA's quaternary code of T, A, C, and Gs? And we'll be talking about this more from a numerical standpoint. Right now, we want to get to what kind of information is there. Um, so what kind of information is stored in that code, this quaternary code? Quaternary, obviously, for four. There's four um, T, A, C, and G. What kind of information or what, yeah, what kind of information is stored in the DNA? The simple answer is that all the information needed to build an organism is stored in the DNA. All the information. We have no other source of information uh, when a, a, an organism is built, only the DNA contains all the information. To illustrate this and make it simple to understand, let's look at how a human organize, organism starts its life. A human organism starts its life as one cell with a brand new DNA made from the DNA of an egg and a sperm. One single cell starts out, every human being. One DNA and the information in the DNA or in that single DNA. In a human body, there are around 200 different types of cells, 200 different types of cells, but the human body, body starts with one cell. The DNA in this one cell has all the information in its code of just T's, A's, C's, and G's to build all 200 types of cells. This cell splits into two cells and copies its DNA into the new cell. The two cells split into um, four cells and each has a copy of the DNA. The four cells split into eight cells and each has a copy of the DNA. Without ever adding any additional information to what was contained in the first cell's DNA, this process continues until it has produced 70 to 100 trillion, trillion with a T, 70 to 100 trillion cells of some 200 types, as we have mentioned. Some of the types of cells it produces is a T cell. There's a uh, shot of a T cell. Other types of cells produced are pantheth cells and um other types of cells produced would be the rod and cone cells that you'd find in your, in your eye. 200 types of cells and the uh, information in the, is all there in the DNA. The information in the DNA does not just produce trillions of diverse types of cells. As the organism grows and develops, or in this case a human grows and develops, about 10 different organ systems are produced organ systems. For example, the circulatory system. These are called organ systems as they consist of two or more organs functioning together. The circulatory system, for example, includes, among other things, the heart, the blood, and blood vessels. 
The digestive system includes, among other things, the mouth, the esophagus, the stomach, the intestines. So the information in the DNA is used to build more than 30, at least 30 different organs in the human body. All the information to build those organs is there. Let's consider the information needed to build human bones. There are some 206 different bones in the human body. Each one of these 206 bones has a unique shape and characteristics. If we wanted to build a shape like any of these bones, we would make a drawing. If we made a computer-aided design drawing, then we would have all the information regarding the shape of the bone in a digital format very similar to the encoding format of DNA. The word blueprint terribly upsets evolutionists. <clears throat> and we don't have to use that word. It, blueprint terribly upsets evolutionists. We don't have to use that word, but DNA contains the equivalent information of a blueprint, the intel, equivalent information of a computer-aided um, design program in digital format. Of course, bones are much more than just their shape. The DNA information, aside from specifying the different shapes for these more than 200 bones, specifies where nerves may run through the bones. The information specifies the space to be occupied by the bone marrow. The design or building how to build bone marrow cells and what parts of the bone are to be filled with spun, uh, spongy bone. And these are only a few of the details of bone, but all that is information is in the DNA, one single DNA that was copied to all these cells, how to make 206, I believe it is, different bones. So in this video so far, we have just barely begun to scratch the surface here. I kind of went a little more in depth on bones of the skeletal system. But as I mentioned, 10 systems, we could go in depth in each one of those systems, 30 organs. Then we'd have to talk about the interplay between all those organs and, um, and organ systems, how they all interplay to make a human being. Uh, we would need to read volumes of medical books to appreciate all the functionality and structure of all the organ systems, of, all, of the organs, and the interplay between all of these. The point of this video is not to bore you, although it should be very exciting to us, all that information, but the point of the video is, not to, is to not minimize the amount of information in the DNA. When we talk about information, it's very easy to be shallow and say, oh yeah, that information, it's no big deal. But uh, hopefully this short um, example of a human being emphasizes the vast amount and complexity of the things that are built and made uh, with based on the information in the DNA. All of that information is coded into the order of A, C, G, and T uh, in the pairs in the DNA helix. A DNA molecule may very well contain more useful information than any single document produced by humans. I will make another video to compare to give some possible comparisons about this. But a DNA molecule may very well contain more useful information than any single document produced by human. This prepares us to ask the question, where did all this information come from? Where did all this information come from? How did that information, how did all this information get in the DNA? And friends, that is a great introduction to the DNA problem. Thank you for listening and stay tuned. We have a website, www.thednaproblem.com.